What's up, Cyber Club members? It's your girl, Miss Emily, back here with you for another fun-packed episode of Cyber Club. I'm so glad you're here with me because today we are going to put down our phones, get off our games, and head outside. Ready? Let's go. Oh no! I mean, I'm all for playing in the rain, but it is way too cold for that today. What are we gonna do? Hey, I know. I saw this video the other day and I immediately thought of you because you're so creative, just like this guy. I think it might even give us some ideas for what to do today. Watch it with me. Ever seen a real life Tetris? This creative father and his homemade toys have gone viral. His marble games wowed many online. He even built a maze game. I make toys so that children use their phones less to give them a special childhood. The toys are created with low cost materials such as cardboard and wood skewers. An elaborate piece can take up to half a month to finish. Among the toys he has designed, this is the most popular online. The kids have to use the steering wheel to catch the marbles. He has bought fewer toys for his daughter over the last year. And her concentration has improved, he says. She has begun giving her father ideas too. He has started a toy business, selling DIY packages online. And he hopes his creativity can brighten up the childhood of many. Over 2.3 million people follow him on social media, where he shares his new inventions and tutorials. Wow, that was amazing. Okay, I'm feeling inspired. What about you? I'll go grab some cardboard. You bring your creativity, and I'll meet you back here in a sec. Marble maze. I think part of the fun of this is planning out the measurements to make this work, so I'm just going to give you the general idea here, okay? We've got two of the same size rectangles and some strips for around the sides, about three inches high, one with a notch cut out. Four strips about an inch and a half and a bunch of strips about an inch wide. We'll be using a hot glue gun today, so be sure to get permission, ask for help, and be extremely careful. Alright, let's start by gluing on the sides. Now, take those inch and a half strips and glue them inside along the bottom. This is to make a little ledge for the maze piece to sit on. Now plan out your maze on your other rectangle. Make sure you have a path that's big enough for your marble to roll through and that there's a path from the start to finish with plenty of traps along the way. 
Use a circle that's a little bit bigger than your marble and trace it in strategic positions. These will be little trapdoors that your marble can fall through. But make sure your marble can get past them to the exit. Okay, I've cut out my traps and now it's time to put up the maze walls. So grab those thin strips and let's get to work. Finally, slide the maze down inside the box we made earlier and voila! It would be cool to make a bunch of different maze tops and change them out. If you want to do that, don't glue the maze piece down. Cardboard Stadium Alright, first we gotta make our stadium. So we need a long piece of cardboard and a square the same width for the backboard, and then two triangles for the sides. Glue the sides to the backboard. And glue the backboard to the floor piece. Then set that aside while we work on the game pieces. I got these little cups at the Dollar Tree and they will be perfect for our goals. We'll also be using seven popsicle sticks, four rubber bands, and a bottle cap. We're gonna use these popsicle sticks to make a catapult. So take five of them and tie them together with two rubber bands like so. Then take the other two and secure one side with the rubber bands. Then slide the bundle inside the two and secure them with another rubber band. Finally, glue on the bottle cap. For our goals, we can glue our cups together so that some goals will be harder to make. That way, we can assign points to them. I accidentally put the 50 on the 40, but it's okay because I couldn't make a goal anyway. Let's go test it out. All right, before you judge me, let me just say I have my phone on a tripod between my arms to record this, and it's right in front of my face, so I can barely see. But if it wasn't here, I would have gotten them all in the cups, and I probably would have gotten them all in the tallest cup, so. All right, for our second stadium game, we will be making a marble ramp, so we need two right angle triangles and three strips about an inch wide. Put them together like this. Then cut a popsicle stick in half and glue it to the sides and we can use that to rotate it. For the goal, take two strips the width of your stadium and about three inches high and cut out different size holes on one. Then assign scores to the holes. The smaller the hole, the higher the score. Then we'll use two three inch squares to put it together like so. All right, let's go try it out. First to a thousand wins. Ugh, I need more marbles. 
Now I know it's easy to just pick up and play on your phone when you're bored, but there's something about making something that gives you a feeling of pride and accomplishment. Not only that, you can improve your concentration and focus, practice critical thinking, and sharpen your fine motor skills. Your mind needs exercise just like your body in order to work at its fullest capability. So I challenge you to take one hour each day, put down your devices, and do something creative. Try it for a week. You won't be sorry. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.